What's going on guys? Coach Matt back here with Hot Shot Sports and today we have some more advanced baseball for you guys. And of course as we start, another jet comes by. I don't usually I guess how many jets fly by during my uh, classes. That's number one. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I went with four last week so today I'll just go with uh, three jets this week. I'll say three fly on by as we do this since there's already one that we just started. Alright so today we're doing some advanced baseball stuff. Uh, we're going to get stretching, we'll get warmed up. Uh, then we're going to do some forehand, some backhand stuff, and some short hops, and some high choppers as well. Um, and then if we have time for that, uh, we'll get into some pro hops and some outfield stuff, okay? But mostly we're really focused on forehand, backhand, short hops, and choppers, okay? So let's get started here. Let's get stretched out. So all you need is a tennis ball for this drill, um, a couple baseballs, and some place markers. If you don't have a glove, that's okay, because some of the stuff we're going to be doing actually today is without a glove. So let's put our glove our ball down here. I'm just getting a little quick little stretch in for us today. It's very windy so uh, I hope you guys can hear me all right. We still have our mic here taped to the back of my phone so I hope this helps you and I will talk as loud as I can. All right let's go left across our chest here. Let's count to three. Let's get quick so we can get started. One, two, and three. Let's go right across our chest. One, two, three. Let's go high up pulling our elbow behind our head. One, two, three. And we'll go pull left behind our head. One, two, three. Good. Let's do some arm circles, all right? Get some arm circles in. Start the hands out and go all the way around above your head in there. You don't have to go super fast. Just get a couple of these in. Feels really good. Go all the way back as far as you can stretch your arms. Good. Let's do three backwards together. Lucky enough for me today, it's not raining again, which is good. I thought this morning and this afternoon is going to be a little cloudy. Good, and we're going to put our arms out like this, and we're going to do some twists. So you're going to twist as far as you can go to the right, and as far as you can go to the left. So we're here, just twist all the way back as far as you can go, and you go back here. Let's get three together. Two, three. Good, and our last one we'll do is kind of like our swimming one. So we're here, and we're just going to stretch out. We're going to have our left knee, left hand touch our right knee, and our, go as high as you can, touch the sky, and switch. Good. Do three, two, and one. Good. All right. Now you guys can get your ball and your glove, and we will get started. Okay. Let's first get our reflexes warmed up. So if you guys are doing this at home, uh, if you guys have a partner or a wall, that'd be great. We're gonna go no glove to start. Uh, so I have my partner behind the camera here, and we're just gonna be in athletic position. And I'm gonna be just tossing the ball back and forth. We're gonna get five good ones together. Okay. We're gonna do five with our right hand with our left hand just to get our reflexes going because today you're gonna have to really work on your hand-eye coordination with these short hops and these picks on our forehand and backhand so let's get our eyes locked in here so you have your partner here let's get five with our right hand only quick toss one two three four and five good and switch hands guys to your left and one two three, four, and five. Good. That's just a little warm-up to get our hand-eye coordination going so we can get ready to get under our infield stuff, all right? First drill we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a backhand pickup with no glove, okay? So you guys want to watch me here? My head's going to be down. I'm going to drop this ball one time, and you're going to kind of sweep through with your backhand. So this is a really good drill for catchers or first basemen if you're just working on your hand-eye and sweeping backwards. So you're going to drop your ball here, and you're just going to work on your hands sweeping that ball, okay? We're going to do five of these together. So you're going to drop and sweep with one hand on your backhand, okay? So we're here. One, two, three, four, five. Good, all right? We're going to do the same thing now with our forehand, okay? This time, instead of sweeping this way, we're going to drop with our left and scoop with our right hand. Only one bounce, okay? If you drop it, that's okay. We just want to work on trying to get one bounce. So we're here and we're scooping. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Just keep our, get our hands going. Now we're gonna get our glove and incorporate some backhand stuff, okay? So if you have a wall or a partner, okay? I know this is a little bit advanced for you guys. This is good, this is advanced fielding, okay? Your partner is gonna do their best they can to make sure when they're throwing these balls and you're gonna be on your knees to start. Okay, we're gonna do some on this side and we're gonna be some on the backhand, okay? 
So when that partner throws it, or if you're throwing against the wall, I want you guys to try to get that ball and try to skip it right to me, okay? So you kind of want it to be on one bounce. Not a super high bounce, because that's a high chopper. These are kind of quick little one, quick little ground balls to get in your glove right away. We're gonna do five backhand, five forehand, and incorporate that, okay? So let's do five forehands first. So I'm gonna have my partner here, and I want that ball to come right here, just on a short, quick hop, okay? And I'll show you, I'll explain to you guys as we go. So we're here, right position, a little bit shorter. I want that ball to right be down here, okay? We're gonna get that ball a little bit lower, short hop, boom. You wanna make sure you catch that ball right there. We're in that spot, right in our glove, and we're squeezing, okay? We're squeezing here. Good, three, good, four, that was a good one. Eight me up, five, good. You guys see how that ball's coming in? I'm watching the ball go into my glove the whole time. Because if you take your eye off that ball, especially on a short hop, it's gonna kick off your shoulder or kick off your other shoulder and get, skip in the left field. So you're just working on that, seeing that ball get into your glove, okay? We're gonna do five backhand, then we're gonna incorporate some short hops while standing, because obviously we don't play baseball you know, on our knees. It's just a good drill to get our hands going, all right? Head to our backhand. Also as well, using a tennis ball to start makes this drill a little bit harder, because that tennis ball is very bouncy. So when that ball's in your glove, it's very easy for the ball to bounce up. So you gotta really squeeze that ball. It's a little harder than doing a baseball with a tennis ball. That's why we're working on that first, all right? So we're back down here in a right position on our knees here. And as soon as that ball's here, our word ready position, then you're gonna skip to your backhand and work on picking it on your backhand, all right? Ball's coming. One. Ready position. Two. Good. See that ball right in your glove. Three. Good. Here we go. Four. And one more. Five. Very good. Okay, now we're going to be standing and getting in our fielding position while we do our short hops, okay? Sometimes if you're playing third base especially, which is why they call it the hot corner, that's when those balls come in really fast at you, and it could be you know, a little bit scary, right, at first. So when that ball's coming hot at you, and you guys are, might be scared of it, I've seen a lot of kids, while they're learning how to take ground balls, is that the ball's coming so fast they get scared, and the ball's coming here, and they just, they just go like this. But look where my body is. My body's not even near the ball if it's coming this way. So this drill we're gonna work on getting in front of the ball, letting the ball hit our chest, okay? The ball's gonna come at you, you gotta knock you, make sure you knock it down. You don't want that ball skipping the left field if you're playing third base, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the wrong way to do it, which I don't want you to do, then we'll, we'll fix it and get in the right motion, all right? So if your partner's here, move over here a little bit. So all you're doing is you toss it over here, and I'm gonna show you the wrong way to do it first. So if you roll on the ground, it'll be great. This is not the way to do it. That should not how you feel the ground ball, right? My body's here, the ball is over here. Do it one more time, a little bit wider. Ball's here. I did not get in front of that ball. That ball could skip under my glove, hit my glove, get away, okay? You're gonna get, now watch the difference between that one and this one. So we're in the right position, that ball's coming. That ball's in my chest. So even if that ball bounces off my chest, which I'll show you next time, you still have time to get that runner out. So we'll do it one more time. Ball's coming here, we're getting over there, in front of our chest, okay? Coach is gonna throw me one more, and this time it's gonna hit my chest. Now watch the difference and see when it hits my chest, it doesn't go in my glove. Okay, roll one more. We're here, ball's coming. Look at that, that ball's still right in front of me even if it hits my chest. I bounced it, right? It came right out of my glove, it hit my chest, and it was still right in front of me because I was using my body, all right? Nice job with that. We're gonna do 10 shuffle drills with our backhand and our forehand. Then we'll get into some tagging in a little bit, all right? So coach is gonna roll them. I'm gonna shuffle, get in front of there. But this time, instead of the ball being on the ground, coach, I would like you to try to get, eat me up on it, okay? Really short hop it, all right? So it's gonna be really difficult for me if you're playing with somebody who's tossing you the ball or the wall, try to make sure you get a short hop on there so it becomes a little bit tougher, all right? We'll do five, excuse me, we'll do five with the tennis ball, and then we'll get to the baseball, okay? Five with the tennis ball, five with the baseball, and we'll move on, okay? All right. Ready? Ball's here, one. It's coming at me, good. Two, a little bit lower, coach, a little bit lower on the bounce. A little short hop, good. Three. Side, it's all right. Let's get two more. Four. And five. Good. Nice job with that. Now we're going to incorporate the baseball. Okay? So 
you guys have a baseball at home? You guys can use that. This time, you guys notice the tennis ball is very bouncy, so it's very easy for me to get it. This time, I really want Coach, when he tosses it, to try to get it as low as possible. Just try it about this high off the ground, so I really have to get down on a short hop, okay? That tennis ball is bouncy, so it's a little easier. This time, he's going to really get it low, so i got to really use my legs and get down there low, okay? I'm going to do some backhand, some forehand, take a look at my form, and I'll walk you guys through it when we're done, all right? Okay, ball's live. Good, ball's low, right there. Ready position, right there. Three more, tough one, good. Good, and one more. Good, nice job guys. The baseball's a little bit harder, because it doesn't bounce as much, okay? Nice job on that one, okay? Now we're gonna incorporate, that was our short hops. Now we're gonna incorporate high choppers, okay? high choppers. This one is a little difficult because if the batter's batting here and he hits that ball on the ground, right, and he goes super high in the air, you don't have a lot of time to react to get him out as an infielder. You could get a high chopper at third base, shortstop, second base, even first base, even the pitcher, even the catcher. Everybody's gotten short hops and big high choppers because that, that batter's here, he hits the ball on top, bounces super high in the air, and you got to be quick, all right? We're gonna work on that. So coach has the ball behind me, behind the camera. Okay, we're gonna be in ready position. When that high chopper is coming, I don't want you guys to feel the ball. You can bounce one a little higher, coach. I don't want you guys to feel it like this. Do you guys think that's the, I'm in the right position to get there? I'm wasting so much time if I just catch it like this with my feet here, then I gotta reset and make a good throw. I'm gonna run out of time. He's gonna be safe. So coach is gonna bounce one again. Watch the difference with my footwork. Look at my feet now. It's kind of like if you put your, if you drew the letter A, you have one foot in the middle of the A, and the rest is right down the line of the A, right? So it's, by the way, my feet right here. Now I'm in athletic position and ready to throw, okay? Show that difference one more time. High chopper. My feet are square. That's not what we want for a high chopper because we got to get rid of it. So watch one more time. We'll do five of these together. Watch the difference. Ball's coming. There's that A again. My foot's right in the middle there, and I'm drawing that down that letter A with my feet. That's the big difference with high choppers, so you can get it and throw, all right? We're gonna do five of these together. Coach, I want five on my backhand, please. And then we'll switch over to forehand, okay? All right, guys, here we go. Ball's coming, ready to throw. Ball's coming, ready to throw. Ball's coming, ready to throw. Let's get two more. And one more. Good. All right, let's transition to our forehands. I'll move over a little bit. Then I'll get you guys a quick drink and we'll come back and do some tagging, all right? Some forehands, we're here, we're charging it. My body's still square and I'm ready to throw. I know I've done a lot of throwing instructions, so go back and watch those videos. So I apologize I'm not getting into that today because we're just doing some advanced fielding. But watch me here, I'll try to do my best to get in the proper throwing motion when I catch that ball on my forehand, all right? Right there, three more. Two more. One more. Good, all right. Grab we'll a quick drink, we'll come back and I'll get my taggy game set up, all right? Going 
very quick. So I'll do one kind of incorrect and one correct. So that ball's coming. You don't want to never bring the ball up. Even if the ball's coming fast and it makes your glove want to go up, I really want you to focus on keeping that glove down as much as you can. Even that ball's coming fast, try to, no, don't lift it up. Always down, okay? Let's do one right, ball's coming. Right there, do a quick sweep if you can. So right there, sweep. Right there, because if he's sliding head first or with his toes, he's coming right for that bag and your glove wants to meet his either fingertips or his feet. And that's number two, I said three, so. Okay, let's do, some, let's do one more tagging. And we'll go into our game. Alright? One more tag in here, we'll go into our game. We're here. Ball's there. Right down on the runner. Okay? Somebody somebody commented said, Coach, tag just like Javi Baez. I don't think so. <laughs> Javi Baez is a good tagger, I'll give him that. He's very electric when he does his tags, but I'm not a Cup fan, so I don't really have an opinion on Javi, but I'll pretend like I'm TA7. We'll do that, alright? Okay, so here's our game. Blue, blue, yellow. I'm gonna pick a base. Your partner is gonna throw that ball right to that base, okay? Now with this one here, you wanna make sure you get around that base as quickly as possible, get set, because that ball's coming. Same thing if I go to this blue, you're here. This one's the trickier one, the one in the back, okay? If I'm standing here, I gotta run, 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 get to that spot and get that tag down, right? So even if I'm over here and I go to this spot, my partner's gonna be throwing that ball, so I gotta make sure I'm there and get that tag down as quickly as possible, all right? So for you guys at home, your partner can go anywhere he wants, blue, blue, yellow. Pick a spot, get the tag down, and head over to the next base and wait for that ball, all right? Let's do this together, we'll start in the middle. As soon as I clap my glove, I'm gonna pick a base and the ball's gonna be there, okay? You guys ready at home? And we're live. Ball's here, sweep, down. Next one, we're going to yellow. Sweep down. Go to blue. Sweep down. Back to blue. Ball's coming. Down. Yellow. Down. Blue. Blue. Good. Yellow. Blue. Blue. And yellow. Give me a short hop. Got it. All right. Nice job. That's a really good exercise for you guys to do with tagging. Get you tired, get your legs moving. That's the way you want to do that, all right? Okay, the last thing we're gonna do, you can put your cones away real quick. I've done a lot of infield stuff. Infield's my favorite position to play all of them, so we'll do a little bit of outfield for you guys before we end class, all right? Your partner is going to throw that ball in the air. You're going to get under it. If you throw a pop-up gut front, you catch it like this. Do another, do another one, please. You catch it like this, flat-footed. How am I supposed to throw anybody out if I'm here? Where's my momentum going? It's, I have no momentum whatsoever. I'm just here, and I'll lally-gag it in, right? We don't want to do that. That ball's in the air. Take a look at me. We're here, and I'm ready to throw. You guys notice, watch my right foot. Okay, toss one more up in the air, please. Watch my back foot the first thing it does. I drop back. So I get my momentum going backwards and then coming in forwards if that ball is a little short, okay? Watch one more time. Ball's back, we're here. And we're ready to throw, okay? Let's get five pop-ups and the correct footwork with that and we'll end class, all right? Five good ones for you outfielders. We're here. Good. One. Drop step. Two. Drop step. Three. Two more, guys. Drop step. Four. And last one. Drop step. Slip. Still catch it. And end the baseball class there, okay? I hope you guys learned a lot about infielding with tagging, short hops, backhands. And for outfielders, our quick little tutorial on the footwork, all right? Check out our YouTube channel. All of our classes are there. Hope you guys stay safe. Have fun. See you later.